Look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Isn't it great? Chris! I know, it's my dream. I have goosebumps everywhere. This area is a very high yield area to get a basal cell carcinoma, same as the nose, the forehead. That's where we sustain a lot of sun damage over the years. That's why I always stress sunscreen use in my pediatric patients. So the characteristics of a basal cell carcinoma is we have this rolled up border here and it's pearly, it's quite shiny, especially when I shine my dermatoscope light over it. If you have a pimple that's not going away in four weeks, always see your dermatologist. Here's another example of just a shiny quality right by the nose. That's a basal cell carcinoma, but not everything with a dell or a dimple in the middle is a basal cell carcinoma. This is actually sebaceous hyperplasia or enlarged oil glands. And when I look up close, it's just all yellow sebaceous glands there. This is a basal cell carcinoma up close concerning blood vessels. We got some pigment in there. So this is a pigmented basal cell carcinoma and not a melanoma. Thanks for spreading basal cell carcinoma awareness.